Hey all, welcome to Share Trek. This is Raj here. Time for the afternoon um, review of our AI stocks in our watch list. Let's get started. I'd like to start with the futures. We are looking at Nasdaq futures out here. Uh, Nasdaq futures is down 2.99%. That's a whole lot. And it's also reflected in QQQ, which has also dropped 3.01%. Things are looking extremely bleak at this point of time because momentum is below average and still falling sharply. And MACD is moving violently away from the signal line to be bearish. So that's not good. So here we have the stock market uh, heat map. Uh, which shows that money has rotated out of uh, technology and most of the sectors like software application, consumer electronics, semiconductors, uh, technology, consumer cyclical, uh, restaurants, uh, financials, you name it, most of them have lost. The only bright spots are being healthcare and uh, utilities. These are the two bright spots that I can see uh, along with uh, a good deal of consumer defensive. Uh, other than that, I think things are looking bleak. Uh, there has been a sectoral rotation out of uh, these technology stocks. I suspect that some of the money might have gone into the bond market or into gold or something like that. Uh, that's my suspicion. Coming back to QQQ, it seems like there's a huge sellout happening right now. Let us go and have a look at the AI stocks. And in AI, I have sorted everything according to uh, the best stock best performing stock at the very top fngd has done extremely well i had some fngd i sold it at a profit next let's look at uh, meta meta is up 4.61 percent on the back of excellent earnings they have uh, a eps surprise of 9.39 percent and they have a rev revenue surprise of 2.12 percent that's amazing in my books and uh, the market has rewarded them in such a horrible day. If it was a better day, I suspect Meta would have risen double digits. Uh, Microsoft is down 0.79% and uh, Momentum and MACD both are looking weak at this point of time. And I think the next support for it is going to be the 200-day exponential moving average at 403 Uh we have also uh, converted uh, two of the support lines into a resistance in the last two days. So Microsoft is looking weak indeed. But I think uh, the search GPT issue is, should not be an overhang on Microsoft. Uh, Google is down 1.29%. Again, a very good stock. It has got a shooting star developing out here. We'll have to wait and see until the end of the day if this looks like a shooting star or it becomes... Uh, something else but right now it looks like a shooting star which is a bearish pattern uh, which is followed which has followed four days of raising prices and then it has come down here so if this uh, pattern of the candle persists as a shooting star then i would observe this for tomorrow if tomorrow we start below this and continue to go a little bit down further and close below then i would say that the shooting star is confirmed which means that there will be further fall i i expect that it will be arrested at 164.49 and will probably bounce off from there and go. If not, then we have the next support, which is going to be 161.01. If that doesn't work, then we have this support of the 100-day exponential moving average at 158.12. And over and above that, I can also visualize uh, a support uh, that is coming out here. Um, let me move this up a bit. Yeah, so this is where the other support is. And this is going to be a very strong support. So I think uh, the level of 158.31 is going to be the ultimate stop uh, for uh, my, uh, for Google. And after that, it should bounce back. So those are the possibilities that I see here. Apple is down 2.10%, a very steep fall today overall. And um, momentum has dropped below average, but still it can turn around. Um, if not for the sharp fall that it is showing out here. And MACD is moving further away from the signal line in a uh, very bearish manner. So things are not looking that great. But then we have earnings at the end of the day today. Maybe they'll come up with some news and things will get better. With that uh, idea, I bought some Apple stocks today. And then we have Amazon, which is down 2.49. Again, I believe in this stock. And I've drawn a new line of support, which is a bullish line of support, which has been touched at uh, multiple points uh, by the price line out here. And I'm thinking that that's going to help us. And today we have a resistance from 189.18, which could probably form the top of a pennant. And we might break out on the top uh, at a later date. I don't know when. But at this point of time, momentum is below average and MACD is moving away from the signal line and it's bearish. 
So things are not looking that great, but it won't take too long for Amazon to turn around. Again, we have the earnings this evening uh, after hours. Palantir is down 3.57%. And friends, I made good money on Palantir covered call. The third set of covered calls that I, calls that I sold is again in the money. And I'm expecting that it's going to expire in the money. I get to keep all the premiums that I connect, uh, collected uh, right now. Uh, Palantir is looking very weak, below uh, average momentum and MACD away from the signal line, very bearish indeed. And then we have uh, uh, Intel Corporation, which is down 5.45%, very weak uh, fundamentals out here. SMCA down 5.66%, very weak fundamentals down here. But because it has already gone to the oversold area, uh, both Intel as well as uh, SMCI could potentially bounce back. Uh, some bottom scrapers would try to buy something out there. Tesla is down 6.77%. Both Momentum and MACD are very bearish. Uh, ASML is down 6.59, a great company, but right now fundamentals are looking weak. NVIDIA down 7.82%. Uh, momentum is dropped. MACD is also very bearish, but I have drawn a new line of support out here. This is a bullish line of support. I expect uh, that uh, tomorrow we'll have support at around 105.56 and day after we should have a support at 105.99. But if we break down below this, we are in trouble. And I'm thinking that the current support levels I'm talking about are going to be very strong because they're going to be combined with the 100 day exponential moving average. So that will be tough to break. And having said that, I'm going on to the next uh, chart, which is um, which is going to be for Broadcom. Broadcom is uh, down 8.58%. Uh, Momentum is dropping sharply and MACD is also very bearish. Uh, things are not looking great. 100-day uh, exponential moving average is the next support that we have uh, for Broadcom. Again, a good company, but bad fundamentals right now. Sorry, bad technicals right now. Uh, then we have Micron, which is down 8.88%. MACD as well as uh, momentum is very weak. Uh, we, it's already oversold. It needs to turn around. AMD is also very oversold and it's down 9.14%. Qualcomm is down 10.44% and FNG is down 10.55%. Still not oversold. MACD is moving towards the signal line even though it is bearish. So it's showing a bit of sign of life. I've drawn a line of support out here which could probably mark the transition from a very steep uh, bear channel to a slightly st steeper bear channel. Uh, so a little bit of improvement in sentiment. We'll see what happens tomorrow and maybe later today uh, to determine if we are progressing that way and improving the condition. Arm is down 16.45 after good results because of lackluster uh, forward-looking statements. And we have, a dub uh, we have a bullish line of support out here which has been coming uh, along with us from 31st of October 2023. So I'm expecting that would give us a support. So that completes my roundup of all the uh, stocks that we have uh, in our uh, AI and technology watch list. So friends, uh, fear not, things will change around. Anything that goes up has to come down and anything that gets oversold has to be bought back up again. So it's a cycle in the market. At my end, I have sold FNGD, took off the profit, and I'm going to dollar cost average down FNGU. And I'm hoping that in another three or four days, uh, it will turn around and pay dividends. So that's all for, uh, from me for now. Please let me know what are your thoughts about the market. Put it in the comment section. Let me know how your portfolio is doing. I'll catch up with you again in the next video. Bye for now.